How does a boy become a man? What's up guys? It's Ivan from Odd Resilience here and I'm gonna be speaking about how I went from being a boy to being a man. Now, this will be very complicated for many people to understand. But see, the simple answer, I'm gonna go to the simple answer. I'm gonna break off of it, right? I'm gonna expand onto it, right? It's always good to have the simple answer in mind and have the ability to break that specific words, those specific words, right? So this is what we're gonna do. A boy becomes a man when he decides that he needs to become a man. When he decides that he wants to be a man. Now, we might go through things that make us grow up, make us mature faster, but if we do not decide to go through them, as in, we are avoiding that situation that's happening to us and we're pretending that it's not happening to us, then we are stuck in the boy. Now, what a man does is he goes through it. He says, fuck it, let's go through it. I'm down. I don't, I, what's up? What's next? What else? Like, what else am I gonna do besides go into my fear? What else? Be fearful? No. Now, am I saying that a man is not allowed to fear? Not true. Man is allowed to fear. But man is not allowed to fear and let his fear get the best of him. Because man controls his mind and he does not allow his mind to control him. Now, this is a question that I, I always ask myself when I was young and I was like, when, when am I old? When do I become old? When do I become, you know, a man? When do, is it like, you know, this whole societal thing is like, oh, you're 18 now. Now you're a man. No, I was a man much earlier than that because it is, they say this is boy, this is man. Here's a spectrum. Here's a spectrum, right? But the thing is, we jump, this is the kind of spectrum where we jump from, right? Now we always maintain the boy because we always maintain our inner child. You always have your inner child. You're always gonna have your memories of, of when you were young, when you were a kid. Unless you got hit by some kind of fucking car, then you don't have them anymore, right? But you're always gonna keep that side of you that was, you know, taken care of, that was pampered, you know, that woke up, that fell asleep on the couch and woke up on the bed, whose mom made a macaroni and cheese, who you just got to go out and meet, play with your friends in the park and play in the fucking, go to field trips, eat snacks at lunchtime, eat fruit roll-ups, that side of you is always going to exist. But what many people have trouble with, they stay stuck in that side. They do not go past it. They reminisce it so much, they're stuck in it. Um, this is what we call, we call this in film, this is a word for this in film. It's like old films. You know when we watch old films? Tempur-Pedic. I don't know why that word's in my mind. No, it's not Tempur-Pedic. Tempur-Pedic is... Nostalgia. That's what it is. Nostalgia. Now, something that we've mentioned in film was, in the nostalgia film, it, it, it's kind of like this oversimplification of the past. This, this make the, the past, it looks prettier than it actually was. But when we actually remember when we were children, that nostalgia that we have of childhood, we were more slaves. We were much more slaves because we're still slaves now. Uh, slave only means, um, um, you know, limited freedom. Uh, we have limited freedom now. You know, I've, I can't leave my body. I can leave it, but I'll die. Right, or I, I could do like some astral projection, but um, you know, that's, that's a higher level of freedom, right? But at the end of the day, you could leave your body and go somewhere else and never, <clears throat> never come back. But then you would be bound by those limitations of that. You, you know, you get what I'm saying? So children are bound by many, many limitations because they're always told what by their parents, you know, they're always told by their teachers, by police officers, firefighters, everything, right? They're, they're trained by the cartoons, by the news, right? They just take in, they do not reject ideas.
for the most part, right? Until they start growing up and they're like, uh, that's wrong. No, I'm not going to do that. That was me. Um, uh, I, I never, something that I'm, I'm pretty proud of is that, you know, I had maybe straight parents and, um, what that allowed me to be like was it, it made me a bit of a rebel. And because I was a rebel, I was like, let me think for myself. I have the ability to think for myself, right? So that is what the more mature person would do, right? Well, the, the man we could even say, right? Because even men, there are times, right? Even I, where I allow, where the, you know, culture, you know, moves me around or where, because it has to, right? You have to be able to move with the change, right? You can't stay stuck in the, you can't be like, oh yeah, I'm a man now. And then like 20 years pass by and you're acting the same, you're behaving the way, you talk the same. So it's like, you become more man with time and you become more child with time. You understand your child self much more, much more deeper. Now it does not mean that you, that you're like, you know, some fucking kid like shit in his pants all over the place, whatever shit like that. No, it's, what it means to, to be in that child is that you are connected with an open mind. You are connected with laughter for the sake of laughter, with love for the sake of love. Children, you know, they're babies and they're laughing and shit. You're like, why are you laughing? Why are you laughing, bro? You don't even know English. <laughs> you don't even know English, man. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> what the fuck are you even thinking? Actually, what is going on inside that baby's mind? That baby's two months old and it's like... <laughs> That's how babies are, right? You're like, what the fuck, man? What's going on with you? What are you even... You know? So... You could say that baby has creativity. Creativity. It's creating already in its mind. That's what, that's what children do. They're so creative and imaginative. They come up with these wild stories. That is what it means to tap into your child self, into that child mind. Now, we, the, the more you understand this, some people, we have to, we, we understand it more and more and more, right? Working with your creativity, it's something I continue to expand. That's why I say that we can continue to know the child self. But at the same time, the adult self is the more driven self. The one with a little bit more seriousness, right? More seriousness, more responsibility, responsibility of self. That is what it means to become a man. From boy to man, take more responsibility. That is it. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. Be the best. Forget the rest. Odd resilience. Ice Nation, baby. Have a good day.